March Madness for college basketball starts producing its own brand of wonderful lunacy next week. But we already have a strain of coronavirus madness here now. And it's not much fun. We have it not only on social media, that's to be expected, but on mainstream media as well. I recently saw an infectious diseases specialist interviewed on television. He had exactly the same advice I gave last week from specialists. Unless you are very old or otherwise vulnerable, wash your hands often and go about your business. But with that answer, the interviewer seemed deflated, let down that the expert was not predicting dire consequences or advising citizens only to go out in the streets between two and four in the morning. And look at the comments on social media. Some self-styled commentators believe that 15 million or more will die, that victims will be dropping in the streets. Why do people make up such things? Social media encourages the no-name naysayers to go nuts. Anonymity allows the depths of the human soul to blossom. So how much of the fall in stock prices is a fault of an overactive media? Well, it's impossible to measure precisely, but it stands to reason that the real economic consequences are due in large part to the coronavirus story being torqued by the media in order to sell the news. It seems that we, as a society, are hankering for a disaster. A certain segment of the country loves a real life disaster, just like a grand disaster movie, you know, with the White House blowing up and the president being launched up into space somewhere. And that is what some in the media are looking for, to satisfy that weird primordial thirst for disaster. And the sensationalists crawling through the dank depths of social media have far fewer strictures than the mainstream media. They are certain that the end is nigh. So buck up, consumers of journalistic endeavors and of would-be journalists. We are in for a tough ride with a few unpleasant surprises. But fear not, for while we are about to pay a price and globalism will no longer be the holy grail, we are going to push on. As a White House medical expert has just declared, you have a greater chance of dying in the United States from the flu than from coronavirus. Buck up.